I don't think the park will ever get rid of Magnum because it is such an iconic coaster. And Magnum is our second ride. This is the most line I've seen for Magnum in years. That line versus what we saw earlier today, it's nothing now. smaller and smaller while we were over at Snake River Expedition. Fun ish. something that's okay with me. Have no problem at all with that. I don't know why, but they have several of these line stalls closed off. It looks like they're just isn't a line. I just got off a great ride on Millennium Force, only it beats the shit out of you. But I got on and off of it in 12 minutes. <laughs> If you have bags going into the line for Magnum, you um, cannot take them on with you. So you have to get one of the lockers that is right outside of Magnum. Alright, 
So Magnum XL is considered by the American Roller Coaster Association, I believe, to be an ace roller coaster landmark. Um, and it's because, really, it is the first hyper coaster. It's recognized as the first hyper coaster in the world. Another great ride. Two tips. First of all, I almost just lost my wallet on there. Like it actually came out of my pocket and it was sitting on the seat. How it didn't fall out of the seat, I have no idea. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, apparently I, maybe I was sitting on it. I, I don't know. Uh, but then, so, so first tip, definitely make sure that you hold on to your things during that ride because my wallet was definitely in my pocket and it came out of my pocket. It was also in my front pocket, so the sitting on it thing is a little bit confusing. As soon as those gates open, walk right through. They do not waste any time. <laughs> so you get on and the doors, the doors will open for about 10 seconds and then they shut right away.